Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Xbox application notifications are not working properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath Options, select Other Troubleshooters. And then underneath Other, go down and select the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter, and then the Run button. And give it a moment here. And then I would recommend following along with any of the on-screen prompts here, and then hopefully I should have been able to resolve the problem. And there's going to be a few other things I'm going to try here as well. So again, hopefully it should be able to resolve the problem. In our case, it just wanted us to sign in with a Microsoft account, which is perfectly reasonable. Most of you guys should not be having that message. I'm on a local account, so that's why. But anyway, so go back underneath System on the left side to go ahead and left-click on that. And then on the right, select the Notifications tile. And up at the top, make sure the master control notifications is turned in the on position to get notifications from apps and other senders. Make sure that's turned on. And then if you have to scroll down the list, if you see Xbox down here, which it doesn't show in our case, which it may not in yours either, go ahead and make sure that's turned to the on position. Another thing we can do here as well, if you select apps on the left side, and then underneath apps, select apps and features. And in the apps list field, go ahead and search for Xbox. You want to select the Xbox application, select the three-dotted icon, and then Advanced Options. Where it says Background App Permissions, if there's an option to set to Always, go ahead and just turn that to the On position, so let it run in the background. Where it says Let this app run in the background, click on the drop-down. Make sure it's set to either Always or Power Optimize Recommended. If you have a different option recommended, go ahead and select that. But again, make sure it's not set to Never. That's certainly a potential issue there. And then also on top of that, if we were to go back to system up at the top, so go ahead and left click on system again, and then go on the right side and select focus assist. And you want to make sure that is turned off. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. And then hopefully your notifications should have been restored at this point. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.